Okay guys, I have a special video for you this morning. I want to show you something that relates to um, why I understand what's going on with a lot of the health stuff more than just your average person does that's trying to coach this and talk about this. In my field, I have to specialize. I have to be able to um, detect. I have to be able to do uh, investigation. I have to be able to specialize in something in order to pick up stuff like this. Dr. Ted Neiman did a great video on diet in general and what things affect us um, versus our um, glucose spiking and how long it stays around and things like that. And I want to show you why I can look at it and I can relate to what's going on better than just the average Joe Schmo can because I've been dealing with this for, for 16 years now, um, specializing for about 9 years now. So whenever you eat something, it has an index response to its glucose basically if I ingest something you know I'll look at a chart here how long does it stay around versus how much does it actually spike my insulin how much it spikes my insulin is my index how long it stays around is my load that's how you can determine whether or not you have a good GI to good uh, glucose load index so here is a chart this is Dr. Ted Neiman's actual um, almost graph perfectly he says you know here I, I'm coming along all of a sudden I eat something my glucose spikes but if you notice my load is very small it doesn't stick around very long it drops back off and I'm back down to a normal blood sugar again my whole purpose here is to be in a uh, static um, realm of homeostasis my body likes to stay at the same level all the time that's just what it wants now if I took that and I compared it to what I do on automotive vehicles. This is a graph of a uh, spark duration. This is what happens inside your ignition system on your vehicle. Primary side, I'm building energy, I'm building energy, I'm building energy, I'm building energy. Collapse of the primary field, spike of the secondary field. I have so many kill volts that are built. It fires the ignition off on the vehicle. That's when you get your spark. All of a sudden it drops back down you get little small oscillations right here as it's trying to come back down to its homeostatic state now what am I looking at here I'm looking at my primary side of the coil building power shutting off collapsing the collapse of the magnetic field shoots up I get so many thousands of kilovolts 30 40 50,000 kilovolts all of a sudden it comes back down and it oscillates just the residual stuff that's left in the line until it slowly this line could continue out here levels out now what am I looking at here I'm looking at my secondary collapse the duration there I'm looking at the duration from start to finish how long it takes to build and actually show that field how the field itself is actually readily available and how much is there and how long it sticks around until it completely levels out now what am I looking at here? I'm looking at my homeostatic state, which would be my primary side of my ignition coil. My homeostatic state, all of a sudden collapse of the magnetic field. I get a huge spike. That's my glucose. That's my glucose right there. And then all of a sudden it brings itself back down and it levels itself back out. Levels itself back out right here. So if I was looking at my ignition voltage and I was trying to understand exactly what was going on with my health better and I started studying GI index versus GI, GI or glucose load I could take just simple well simple to me but not to you um, simple patterns that go on inside your ignition system that the only way you'd be able to find that out is looking at a specialized instrument called an oscilloscope the same way a doctor would use a uh, glucose monitor versus a uh, uh, glucose load to check your um, blood sugar response versus how long it sticks around. I hope this uh, so. I hope this uh, somewhat helps you gain a little bit more confidence in me and my knowledge and looking at these graphs and being able to being able to see exactly what's going on based on the work that I do. No, they are not the same, but they are extremely familiar or or similar. And uh, my whole objective here is to promote um, trust, to promote knowledge base, and if you're a uh, car person and you can look at a scope like this, 
but you didn't know what was going on here well maybe after you've uh, watched this video you've taken away a little bit more information on how to further help yourself look at a uh, GI chart versus a G uh, GL chart and what you see on your normal daily function for your job anyway again homeostatic state glucose spike load how long it stays around levels back out back to your homeostatic state same here homeostatic state eat something glucose spike insulin gets in here tries to bring it back down so as it brings it back down it decreases the load and it brings your blood sugar back down goes back into a homeostatic state all right guys i just thought this would be a pretty uh pretty good analogy this morning i thought about this while i was walking watching dr ted neiman what i'll do is i will post his video in the link below so you can go actually watch his video and uh see a more in-depth explanation on exactly what i just explained